Hi, my name is Shelby Saper. I'm a student of anthropology at the University of Oregon, and my poster was on assessing typology of pre Mazama quarter notch points in the Northern Great Basin. I got to work alongside three awesome people first, Richard Rosencrantz from the Museum of Natural and Cultural History, Caitlin McDonough from Texas A&M University, and Dr. Dennis Jenkins from Museum of Natural and Cultural History. So for a while now, there's been discussions among archaeologists about the antiquity of Elko corner notch points in the Great Basin, and that was kind of our main research focus and really summarizes the first two questions. We also wanted to know if pre-Mazama corner notch points are morphologically distinguishable from post-Mazama points. And when we say pre-Mazama, we mean prior to the eruption of Mount Mazama, approximately 7,600 Cal BP. For this project, we took a look at three different sites in the Northern Great Basin that have recorded pre-Mazama corner notch points. The first is the Conley Caves, which is located in the Fort Rock Basin of Central Oregon. The site has been intermittently occupied since the terminal Pleistocene and has been under examination by the University of Oregon Field School starting in the early 2000s. The second site is Skull Creek Dunes, locality 1, which is located in the Catlow Valley of Oregon and is the southernmost site of the three if you take a look at the map to the right. The site is an active sand dune and has an approximately 7,000 year old archaeological record with recorded corner notch points in and below Mazama ash layer. The third site is Cougar Mountain Cave, which is located in the Fort Rock Basin just north of Conley and has evidence of human occupation from the terminal Pleistocene into the late Holocene. All right, let's move on to the methods. So on the right, you can see a chart taken from Thomas 1981, which shows some of the main attributes they measured for each projectile point. There were also other measurements that I conducted in addition to these few that are not represented on this chart. The first step was to take measurements of each projectile point, which I showed you the attributes on the previous slide. The second step was to use a few typological schemes to determine the classification of each point. If you look to the left, you can see the different metric criteria for each scheme. At the top, we have the monitor valley key, which is still probably the most prolific typological scheme used throughout the Great Basin. The middle is for Baskell and Hall 2000, and the bottom is for Vaughn and Warren. The last step was re to retrieve radiocarbon dates from the Connolly Caves, which were from an associated hearth feature. All right, let's move on to the results. Four Primazama corner notch points were found in direct association with the feature listed on the chart. Two of the radiocarbon samples we retrieved for this project returned with a date of approximately 8,500 Cal BP, which aligned nicely with the date retrieved from the previous year found from the same feature. As for the other two sites, we determined that the corner notch points at Cougar Mountain Cave were similar in age to those from the Conley Caves based off of obsidian hydration rates taken by Layton 1972. As for Skull Creek Dunes, we determined their relative antiquity based on if the points were identified as being above or below Mazama Tephra. In total, I retrieved metrics from 47 corner notch points, 26 pre-Mazama, and 21 post-Mazama. And if you take a look at the graphs to the right, you can see that a majority of the pre-Mazama points keyed out to Elko Eared or Elko Series. 21 of the 26 pre-Mazama points were consistently classified as Elko Series, meaning they keyed out to the same classification using all three typological schemes. Two of the pre-Mazama points keyed out to Pinto Series, and three of the points keyed out to multiple typologies, making them inconclusive. As for the morphological results, we found that there were only three notable differences between pre- and post-Mazama corner notch points, distal shoulder angle, length to width ratio, and basal width maximum. But in general, the average measurements for pre- and post-Mazama corner notch points were very similar based on the metrics that we took. For our conclusions, we found that pre-Mazama corner notch points from the Northern Great Basin key out as Elko series based on established keys. In general, pre- and post-Mazama points are morphologically similar. Based on the retrieved radiocarbon dates, we are able to confirm that corner notch points date to approximately 8,400 Cal BP in the Northern Great Basin, which supports a long chronology. But in the end, we understand that new methods and re-examination of typological schemes in the Northern Great Basin may be necessary to truly determine the typology of these points. Finally, for this project, we would like to thank the Museum of Natural and Cultural History, Europe, and Vice President for Research and Innovation for their financial support. And most importantly, thank you to the Klamath and Paiute tribes whose traditional lands these sites reside on. Very, very quickly, here's a snapshot of the poster that we made. Thank you all for listening and stay safe.